like another Big Ten game to you has actually turned into quite a bitter rivalry here in Iowa. Northwestern coach Gary Barnett, when he got to Northwestern in 1992, set his sights on one of the top echelon teams in the Big Ten as a watermark. He wanted a team that his kids could go out and beat, and that's how they would know their program had arrived. Well, he picked Iowa. So every time they play Iowa, they do special things for preparation that week, like put Iowa Hawkeye decals on the scout team's helmet or stretch separately from the scouts. He's even gone so far as to paint their visiting locker room pink so they can get acclimated to the visitor's locker room here at Kinnick Stadium. And it's worked. His team is very excited for this big game. Now, Iowa, on the other hand, they don't see it as that big of a rivalry. Their coaching staff says, we've prepared for this game just like we did Michigan last week. We'll see whose philosophy wins out today. Rich? Iowa's defense, pretty good this year. Jared DeVries, the man to watch, two-time first-team All-Big Ten pick. Two very good linebackers. Matt Hughes and Raj Clark. Hughes has played exceptionally well in the last two ball games. Eric Thigpen is a guy that has been injured, is coming on. He's a big part of an Iowa secondary that has struggled this year. Anderson. He'll lose a couple. Jeff Kramer made the stop for the Hawkeyes. All right, offensively, Randy Riders is going to get the start at quarterback. The junior out of Fort Dodge. Khalil Hill, their big play guy. But you know what? Hill, Yamini, and Dahl, their starters, have one touchdown catch between them, and that belongs to Hill. Up front, Derek Rose out of Naperville, Illinois. Certainly he knows Northwestern. They need him to have a big game today. Riders with time. Hill is open. He's got it at the 12-yard line. No score, Northwestern and Iowa. Zach Bromert had been automatic this year. Yeah, you know, he's the short-range field goal kicker, and this is supposed to be automatic. This one's close, but not quite there. Look at this thing. Just to the outside by a foot. Gavin Hoffman, their redshirt freshman quarterback. Down he goes, Jared DeVries, his fourth sack of the season. Third down, 25. Riders has his man, it's Betts. First down, Iowa. Total yardage weighed heavily to the Hawkeyes. Riders on second down. Looks once, throws, wide open hill, touchdown Hawkeyes. Zach Bromer for the extra point. His second touchdown catch of the season. For Riders, his first touchdown throw. And it was a very easy throw for him. He had plenty of protection. Nice time. He was able to even look back and come off of that to find Hill. Plenty of time, no pressure, and he beats Blackman. The dynamic duo back, Khalil Hill, Terry Holman. It's a fake and a throw, and it's incomplete. J.J. Standring threw it, and it was broken up Doug by Miller. Doug Miller. Yeah, Doug Miller. Heads up football. Holding. Every penalty seems to be of the major variety. Liddell Betts. He spins his way inside the 10. Lost the football. One official says it was down. And the other inside the Northwestern 10. Option look. Riders. He's to the two. It'll be third and goal from the two. Michael Jones made the stop for Northwestern. Now watch him turn this option up inside of Barry Gardner. Gardner's to the outside. He's going to cut it right back inside now. Inside of the big tacklers outside. And that's what they need out of him. That's the spark, that hard-nosed aspect of football that Iowa has been lacking on offense. A full house look in the backfield. Betts, touchdown, Iowa. Big day so far for that man, Randy Riders. 
Randy Ryder's at the control. In wide open. Got him. Liddell Betts out of the backfield. That, my friends, was the right checkoff. 35 yards on the completion. Now, Rich, I, I know that this has got to be great for the Reiners family to have Randy out there playing in this ball game, really being his old self again after all that they've been through. You can just imagine how difficult it's been for his parents having lost a daughter and then to have Randy really be in, a, in an emotional funk for a long period of time. His sister Natalie died in August while playing a softball game. She suffered an aneurysm which led to a heart attack. Very close to Randy, very close to the football team. The team was very much a, a part of her life as well. She was friends with a lot of the players. First down, Iowa. As the Hawkeyes continue to move the football. Add to that the knee injury rod that set him back at the outset of the season. To see him come out and blossom here today has got to make a lot of people happy. We've got almost 10 minutes left in this first half. Ryder's throw is a good one. Caught by Hill, and he's out of bounds. First down, Hawkeyes at the 18. Zach Bromert now, who missed from 22, will attempt this one from about 27. As we pointed out, he's usually deadly from this distance. And he got this one. The senior out of Pensacola, Damian Anderson, back in the game. Play action, Hoffman. Man open. Caught for a touchdown. They'll mark it at the one. Hoffman. Anderson up, over, and in. Northwestern is scored. And it's Jared DeVries territory, that's for sure. Big time players make big time plays when you need it. Northwestern now will have to settle for a shot at three. Brian Goins, a very good field goal kicker, led the Big Ten at field goals made last year, and he's perfect from 30 yards out. So the Wildcats do get their three points, and all of a sudden, it's a 10-point ball game in Iowa City. First down, and the Wildcats and Gary Barnett are going for it. And you know why? Because they've been dominating the line of scrimmage on this drive. He feels like he's, they've got it going. Go ahead and pick up the first down. You know something? I agree with him. This is Brian Marshall. He's not going to get it. Matt Bowen, Jared DeVries on the stop. Frank Meyer, the offensive coordinator of the Wildcats, on the other end of that hip ball. Liddell Betts, first down. He's missed on four straight attempts. Throwing on the move, and it's caught by Hill. He holds on to this one, and he's got a first down. Again, Ryder's had all day. 47-yard line of Iowa. Ryder's, again, a lot of time. Intercepted! It was deflected, I think, twice, and Gardner came up with it. Big hole, Marshall. To the 32-yard line. Tarek Holman made the stop. He made a 30-yarder. This has got the leg, but not the accuracy. And Northwestern now, for the second time in this second half, has squandered great field position and comes up without any points. Let's head back. There are a lot of teams in the, in the Big Ten right now that are just trying to find a foothold to get themselves started in the right direction. Liddell Betts across the 35 to the 37-yard line. He's got a first down, a gain of 12. Many people are still wondering if Wisconsin is as good as that number 10 next to their name. Hoffman. For Bates. He got it. Bates to the 20. He'll score. Touchdown, Northwestern. Brian Goins for an important extra point. He knocks it through. Iowa had a 
17-0 lead early second quarter. And Northwestern has come all the way back now to tie it at 17. 70,000 in this place, none of them wearing purple. Well, maybe a few. Hoffman. Incomplete flag is down. This may be grounding. It may be a safety. It is two points for Iowa. Absolutely. If you ground the ball while you're in the end zone, it is a safety. Now remember, Rich, in college football, you have to have a receiver in the area. This is not like the pros. In the NFL, all you have to do is get outside the tackle and you can throw it away. Now look with me. Look for a receiver in the area. You're not going to find one. They're going to hold them up. There's nobody out there. Nobody anywhere. Second and eight. Liddell Betts has some room. And a first down. Yeah, a little shovel pass to Betts. It goes as a completed pass. It's a gain of about nine. Third down and seven. One of their last eight on third down of the Hawkeyes. Riders. He'll go. No, he's still on his feet. He's still looking. Watch Reiners. He's the key to this play. He has time, and he'll get away from two sacks. There's one right there. Here comes Schmidt. He can't get him either. And now watch him hang in there when he gets leveled by Lentz. Right there. And you just can't cover in the secondary that long. Casper was able to get open. But Iowa with the safety. And now this touchdown throw by Reiners has rebuilt their lead. 26-17, the Hawkeyes are on top in Iowa City. One of 10 on third down. Uh-oh, Hoffman goes down. Jared DeVries. Second sack of the ball game. Here comes a blitz. Down he goes. LeVar Woods. And Aaron Campman, the linebacker, the freshman came in, made the play, and that's just inexperience. And you gotta be a, a quarterback who's gone through this. Hoffman's gotta know you gotta get rid of the ball. You can't hold it in this situation. Hoffman, get again, and he'll go down. Ed Sadat, fourth down, 26. Hoffman just lets it go. Deflected and caught. It's a first down. But this shotgun thing is a little disturbing. Good snap here. To the end zone again. Man open. Touchdown Wildcats. Kept his composure big time. Extra point is up and good. And now obviously, without any timeouts, Northwestern must recover an onside kick. Now, Rich, if you're on the front line, you don't want to handle the ball. If it's kicked hard, you want to let it go through to the backup line. It's recovered nicely by Joe Slattery. Mike Adamley, John Makovic, give you all the highlights and preview the big games to come later on today. Here in Iowa City, the Hawkeyes and Randy Reiners It'll be a win in the books, but it's a memorable day for that young man. Back in the lineup. And back into the wing column. The frustration continues for Gary Barnett and Northwestern. Hayden Fry and the Hawkeyes, the winners. A homecoming win. Iowa 26, Northwestern 24. For Rod Gilmore and Holly Rowe, I'm Rich Waltz. This has been a presentation of ESPN.